Thank you for all the support, for all the nice words, for everybody following my videos. It has been overwhelming. The amount of comments and the amount of positive comments uh, totally baffles my mind. Uh, it just goes to show how uh, hospitable and how empathetic the people of Somaliland really is. So thank you everyone for commenting and also especially for those who comment uh, with uh, information and with insights into the culture of Somaliland. Because if there is something that you would like to tell me, that you would like to enlighten me on when it comes to the culture and the people and the history, etc., I would very much like to hear that. I'm not so interested in the, the bad parts of the history and the conflicts and all the politics and that part, because that is something I can read in Wikipedia and other places. I'm more interested in the current culture and the, the way people think and the way people act and how one should be and not be and all of that. That's more of interest to me. I'm not so interested in what has been. I'm interested in what can be. Now, some people have also commented and asked, back channel and otherwise, who is this random Norwegian person who comes to Somaliland to do some kind of charity? Is there a hidden agenda? What is the catch, etc.? Now, there is no catch because, you know, if, if it was for money, this is the last place on the face of the earth I would go to get some money. Uh, so what is it then? And some people have been questioning, you know, oh, he has a background as a Scientologist, maybe some religious reason. For that, I just have to say, I went out of Scientology in 2009. In the next couple of years after that, I shed myself completely of that part of, uh, you know, the belief system of Scientology. I'm completely out of that. It's a, it's a no interest to me. I still consider myself a spiritual person, but I'm not affiliated with any religion whatsoever. Now, the background you can easily find by Googling me or going to my uh, isna.org website and clicking on the about and you will find a lot of stuff on me and you will find all the videos you can find. And, you know, books I published, everything is out there. I'm a very transparent person when it comes to my background and everything I do because I publish almost everything. And, uh, you know, Google is your friend, you'll find everything out there. Uh, good, bad and the ugly and everything else is completely fine. Now, the reason why I'm here is because a few years back I had this, um, this idea that I should be um, doing something for a country. And uh, the point with this is I would like to help more people than, than just one and one. I do a lot of mental training and coaching of people, athletes, people on stage, etc which is also covered on my website, but I would like to do more. I would like to do more for more people and to help a poor country like this would be a dream. I had this vision board a few years back where I put up a picture of a random country, a country I would like to help. And now all of a sudden this, aha, it's a, <laughs> a little fly here. Uh, and now all of a sudden this opportunity of Somaliland came up and I grabbed it by both hands. Now, there is a backstory to this, which I covered in the original opening video, the, the part one of the Somaliland adventure. I won't repeat it here. You can go back and, and see that video for the actual background story to why this specific project came to fruition. So that's it for that. Now, I would also like to add that uh, this uh, trip to Somaliland has been sort of a scouting mission to see if this project could be brought to fruition, if it could be successful. Because I wasn't sure at all. Uh, you know, there are several obstacles to this kind of a project. And uh, a lot of them has been closed. A lot of them have been check, check, check. It's okay. No problem. Finding the students. No problem. Finding the teachers. I got a good hand on that one. Uh, getting political support and not working against the politicians, but rather with them. That is check. Is it possible to host this, house this place, you know, this project in a place? Yes, of course, there are several schools that are openly willing to take us in. You know, all of these things I wouldn't have the clue before I came down here if it was possible have now been checked out as positive. Now, there are several more steps, obviously. There is funding and there is, you know, support from, uh, from the government, maybe Norway and private corporations. And there is stuff that needs to be done. So there is a lot of work in front of us, a lot of planning, a lot of work. But that, I think, has uh, got a pretty good handle on that one. So this has been an immense uh, experience for me, a great uh, scouting mission. So we'll set up the project. Uh, there is... Uh, 
planning to be do, uh, done, as I said, and all the planning will be published and all the project progress will be published on my website. So go to isna.org, knock yourself out with the content there. You can find one-page books there that you can read. You will find my podcast, you will find uh, artwork I do, music I make, etc. And everything is for free. Just pick and choose whatever you like on my website. That's for free for you. So also keep an eye on that website just because the progress on the Somaliland adventure and the project we're doing here will be published on that website. So that's it for now. We're back as you can see in Barbera. This is the beach where we uh, had a beautiful swim the other day. Uh, it's quite warm, it's quite hot here, especially for a Norwegian. So, but it's, it's beautiful. The, the waves in the background and uh, the nice uh, beach and the sand and uh, yeah it's a, it's a nice breeze and uh, I really like this place. So uh, see you back in uh, Hargeisha. We are meeting another minister tomorrow and hopefully that will be interesting. So see you later.